Hello, everybody. It is it is us, the dynamic duo, the Overachievers Gaming Podcast, and we are coming with you with another OG chat. I'm Dominic. OG chat. Dominic. I'm Charlie. I never say Dominic. I'm Dominic. I'm Do- I'm I'm Dominic. Dami Pastrami. Dami Pastrami. At Ashley Pastrami. Yeah. Yo, I'm Charlie at Vash. We're here to talk to you this week, or this time, I should say, because it's not necessarily a week, about The Division 2, what we love, what we hate, our goals and tribulations, so on and so forth. I'm just making up words at this point. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind well, that's what as, we I do. Play Elder, that's, as I play Elder Scrolls Blades right now. Wow, you're an asshole. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can find oh, yeah, us. I forgot, uh, oh, damn it, Charlie. I was, I was about ahead. to do it. I almost had it, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need, you need practice. You can find us uh, on the grams at OG dot podcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on Twitter at overachievers P uh, you can find me at Ashley Pastrami and Charlie at IV Vash. And soon enough on, on the YouTubes, we're going to be posting some clips and stuff on YouTube soon. Um, but uh, yeah, what were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say uh, one thing I didn't mention in the previous episode, but I wanted to touch on real quick. So this, I'm going to show you real quick if you can see this. Uh, so this is Elder Scrolls Blades. The cool thing is like you can play this vertically. So like I can move around, like I can right. you know do it this way. I can tap to move and all that sort of shit. Mm-hmm. You can also play it horizontally oh, nice. too, so it switches cool. to like a little thing. Yeah. So that's that's a neat little feature. You can play both ways. So anyway, I wanted to touch on that because I, f- I forgot to mention that in the last episode. But uh, yeah. So Hilarious. anyway, this week, The Division 2. I know you're on a time crunch, so we'll try to make this yeah, quick. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'm sorry that my stomach hates me today. So. <laughs> today, always. I, I, I'm like almost worried about you sometimes with your poops. Are you okay? Like, do you have to see some? fine. Do you have? Do you have? Uh, I did. I, I did see someone. Uh, I do not, but I did. I did see a doctor, and uh, I'm good. I'm just very regular. <laughs> so the division, division two, rather. Uh, yeah. So I want to hear what you have to say about it because I. So, I love it. Uh, I love it. I've, I'm level. I'm level thirty. I've I've done all the main missions. I've gotten all. I've gotten through everything. Hi, my uh, name is Don. I'm level eighteen in division two, hi. and here's my story. Uh, the game is great. Uh, very early Division One feel with the added extras of Division Two. Mm-hmm. Um, cool, ta- like th- I, the talents are cool. I wish they were not a little bit better. I mean, I really liked, you know, the healing, but the 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 ammunition and healing box of D One. Big fan of that sticky bomb, which you know we still have with the chem launcher. Can I think have an explosion of attachment? We have like the the healing drone, which is kind of like the the healing box. So definitely cool that they just they 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 went a different in a different direction of some of the talents. Definitely cool. I do like you know in the division one, you just flew past early game to get to end game. It didn't mm-hmm. matter, which I'm sure a lot of people have done. But I'm enjoying the early game. Like it, it's just it's genuinely fun. Like. All like the uh, the all the open world stuff is great. Like stopping public executions, control points for a lot of fun. Uh, all that sh- I just like seeing a random question mark pop up and going to see what I could fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. All that shit's great. The missions are really fun. I'm not just like blowing through them. I'm just like clearing out area per area first. Which I didn't. I didn't give a shit about doing in the division one. I didn't do any of that stuff. I just got as far as I could, as fast as I could. But now I'm actually clearing out areas and like getting all the shade tech and and doing all that. Like trying to do the bounties and finding like uh, all the the art stuff, which is hilarious. I just found the fucking Declaration of Independence the other day, which was funny. Um, mm-hmm. That shit's great. I did hop into the the uh, dead zone. Dead zone. Uh, is it actually DZ for dead zone. Dark. Dark zone. Thank you. Jesus. Dark zone. I did hop into DZ the other day. Uh, got smoked, just straight smoked. But it's fine. I didn't. I didn't plan on not getting smoked. I just assumed everyone's gonna be better than me already. Um, my two gripes. Here's my gripes. One, why the fuck is everything so dark, and why don't I have a flashlight? <laughs> like I turned my my brightness up in game because it's so fucking dark. Funny enough, I just saw a Kotaku article the other day, like, hey, everyone likes a Division 2, but just at, give us a fucking flashlight. Um, second thing is, uh, and this is this has been their problem since Division 1, too, is why is it so annoying just to tell me what I should do next? And, like, not only why is it so annoying 
that I don't know what to do next. But but why is it so annoying that like if I have an exclamation mark at at a camp or a settlement or something, why doesn't it point me to where that exclamation mark gets resolved? Like, you know, you still you still have two out of three things done at the settlement. Okay, who's who tells me the next thing? Oh, it's projects. Great. Where's projects? Walk around for half an hour until I find the projects desk with the lady there. So. There, you can see all that you stuff. You can if you super zoom, a, but it's fucking stupid. Like, yeah, yeah. So I, I agree. It needs to be a little bit more user friendly in the UI. Uh, there's a great tab in your when you hit options or whatever it is for Xbox. If you go under progression, it will tell you what you need to do next, and will clearly lay out what the gear is, what the requirements are. Yeah, it should just be a little you, better. You, That's all. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it should, yeah. I guess it should be a little better. So maybe, maybe in maybe in the map it should be for sure. But yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. It's other than that, the game it's is fine. fucking great. I can't wait to get the 60. I can't wait to do open world. Or, uh, 30. Uh, 60. God, the uh, Destiny. <laughs> I can't wait to get to uh, 30 and do more end game stuff. Because uh, I, I had a lot of fun in Division 1 with the build system. You know, I, I mostly went yeah. healer. I was I was always tech stuff. I, I was either like a heavy healer or at the time, the sticky bomb was like the number one fucking uh, early Division 1 sticky bomb build was it. Like that's all you, you just heard doom, like every five seconds in the dead zone or dark zone. Um, I keep thinking Dragon Ball. Uh, and that shit was so much fun. I mean, I was such a piece of shit. Cause like anytime <laughs> there was like a proximity of dudes and you just sticky bomb, they all went down. It was so funny being a jerk. Uh, but I'm excited to see the builds. And also, you know, now we have the gear sets from like, division one they have gear sets for division two obviously named weapons exotics you know that whole deal so i'm just excited to be able to start actually utilizing that shit you know what i mean yeah i mean they don't have gear sets yet the gear sets are coming next week with the april 5th patch which is also world tier five they have brands oh brand okay and i've heard that and i didn't know what that meant what does that mean so the brands on every piece of gear has a brand. So it's kind of like, it's kind of borrowing from Borderlands a little bit. So it's like you know it's like uh, a company has made this gear, Got it. Or whatever. Like a you know it's you know. But uh, so those brands have different stat bonuses, and as you hold those brands, it allows you to activate certain things. And so it, you can kind of make it, a it, build it. around these brands, okay. but it's all still sort of you know RNG. They're making the actual <laughs> gear sets. Uh, I think well, I think they're in. They're not in the game, but they're like they're coming out next next Friday. Essentially, is right. what it comes out. Okay, to so that'll be um, with the world tier five, which is the highest world because right now world tier four yeah. gear score four fifty or or four sixty right now is the top top gear score. I think I'm at like four thirty four something like that yeah, right Jesus now. Is that like four forty two so. or something? I think yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a quick way. So there's a fun way of. Very easily being able to do all this stuff. So the thing that I like about um, I'm going to uh, sidebar for a quick second. Yeah, the thing that I, the thing that I liked about the most about Division is I played a lot of the Division One when it first came out. I did the the first incursion, cheesed the first incursion okay. after after like spending 30 minutes just fucking bi- firing off sticky bombs and like rehealing blah blah. It was just like okay, I'm done with this game. So I came back and I played a lot of the Division One for like one, for the last like I think three months before Division Two came out. So I played a lot of that. Um, and what I the things that I like about it, they learned a lot from the Division One. They brought that into Division Two, oh, yeah. which a lot of the quality of life stuff. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about some of the skills. I feel like skill power and skill abilities don't really scale yeah. whatsoever where I am in the end game. So it's like you're really looking for offensive, you know, like your offensive skills, like your turret uh, or your or your um, you know drone attack drone don't really matter. Yeah. So as of right early now, game, so I'm, I'm curious to see <laughs> early game. They're, they're they're awesome. Like they're such a lifesaver. But like once you get to end game, they really don't really matter whatsoever. Which is unfortunate because I really like those skills and I feel like yeah, yeah skill power doesn't scale. It doesn't really do much for your skills per se. Um, all it's really there is to activate perks on your gear for your guns and and other things. Which is unfortunate, but that's just what it is mm-hmm. right now. But. I'm curious to see what they do with these gear sets and how they're going to implement things and, you know, what the next round of stuff is. I'm not really worried too much about min-maxing right now until the gear sets come out. I'm essentially just going to be getting to 450, uh, World Tier 4, and getting that stuff. So the best way 
And so if you have friends that have been playing for a while and you're just trying to get gear, once you hit 30, have them uh, join their world and have them do a bunch of like random shit and just have them drop all stuff for like level their top level for you. You'll be able to pick them up, put them on, and then you can walk through all your stuff if you're trying to get to their level quickly. Mm. That's the best way to do it because uh, spoilers. Do you care about spoilers <laughs> no, or no? Okay, so spoilers for everybody else. FYI, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Stop listening if you don't want to hear anything. You just want to experience for yourself. Stop if you don't. Yep. Yeah, uh, 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 okay, here we go. <laughs> the uh, so when you when you finish uh, once you get level thirty, you have to do and you have access to your strongholds. We have access to stronghold at twenty six, twenty eight, and thirty. So uh, you can do them all solo. I did them all solo. And they're, which is what I really like about the division. So like you can play with people or you can do it solo. There's just less enemies when you're solo. So they still hit just as hard. Right. So I ran around with the Revive Hive and the um, the Revive Hive and the... That's smart. I think the Armor Chem Launcher or whatever. Um, but then when I was starting to get better gear and I could you know pick people off, I would then run around with the Attack Drone. Like right now, I'm running around with the, um, the Chem Launcher and the Revive... I'm sorry, the, the chem launcher heal and the attack drone. Chem launcher so heal is amazing. Like, yeah, and you can just drop it at your feet. It's great while you're in cover. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's great. Uh, so anyway, so you, once you do all three strongholds, um, then the whole entire world flips and the Black Tusk invade, and it's a yeah. whole d- different group of people who are coming to attack. Um, and then you have to essentially do all of the events that you've already done all over again. Right. But the so with that, like you have all the all the main missions get invaded, so you have to do that again. So you have to do, I think, two or three main missions, and then you have access to a stronghold. You defeat the stronghold. You go to world tier one, uh, or well, you start in world tier one after you you know defeat all the strongholds, the f- first three, uh, and then that's how you increase your world tier. So it's like you have to do two main missions, get bigger better gear score, go to the stronghold, defeat that world tier two for three, and also for four. So that's what it is, and then you start getting um, like al- something about like alarm rates, which I haven't really figured out too much. But like mm-hmm. as you as you do things in the world, you start to increase the difficulty of the world, right? Which right. I think is an interesting concept, where like if you're doing all these side missions, so in order to get the best bounties or the best gear, you have to run around and do all these side things to increase the alert level of the world, which I think is up to three is gets at the highest. And then you, uh, from in that aspect, then you can go do stuff. But like, apparently, like the enemies hit like super fucking hard. Yeah. They're super difficult. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. And then at level thirty, you get access to your specializations. So I've been playing demolitionist for the time being. Okay. Um, but then I think I'm going to switch to marksman because a friend of mine in my clan plays as a marksman, and not Did the it? sharpshooter, the marksman, yeah. the crossbow. And um, that has like the healing drone, uh, or the, the healing seekers, as well as it, the crossbow just melts people for like heavy armor stuff. Oh, really? So, yeah. So I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to getting to that point. Right now, I'm just running through trying to get to world tier four at the moment. It takes about an hour for me to go from doing the two main missions and the stronghold by myself. Got so. it. That's not so bad. No, it's not bad. It's like it's very easy to do, but like I'm just taking my time because I don't really have a ton of time to yeah, do anything. Yeah, so. yeah. Also, like um, you can. I find it's yeah. funny because obviously I want to do all this shit and get to later game and blah blah blah. But it's like it's pretty fun that <clears throat> to like play a game from a different perspective. Like I have to go slow because I don't have the time to just rush through everything. So I'm like enjoying mm-hmm. the game more. You know, it's like. I just get to chill and like actually play the game, which is I'm I'm never doing. I'm always just like trying to smoke through, you know. It's fun. I, I'm enjoying yeah. playing every aspect. How do you like the enemy AI in this one? They're annoying as fuck. Yeah, no, it's hard. <laughs> it, right? It's, it's hard. like it's you, you can't be out in cover. The only thing that's annoying to me is like the uh, the hide uh, not the hydra the uh, the hyenas who. <laughs> Uh, just like they just like yeah. well i mean my my alliance in marvel strike force is hydra hilarious so um but they like they run out they have like the sun some machine guns so they just like yeah. hold sideways yep. and just like they just wreck you if you're yep. out which is kind of annoying I, because... snipe. I just have a sniper I, I it's either a sniper or m60 so it's like when i have to lay down actual fire i'm just like th- throwing out like 200 bullets yeah i think that's what everyone yeah uh that's, that's like the meta right now yeah. which because it works really well yeah but the um I just find that like 
while they're running out, you can they have like no armor on, and you're like shooting them. They don't stagger. It's the only <laughs> thing that seems to be weird. But I like that. So when all the black tusk invade after you get to level thirty, I like the fact that all the missions are different. Yeah, they're, I mean they're the same. They're the same levels, but all the encounters are completely different. That's awesome. They're not the same whatsoever, which I like, and I felt like that's a big selling point yeah. of doing all these things because that's definitely awesome. You know, it, it, at a certain point, you kind of learn where the enemies come out, and that's the whole point is being able to like figure out how to do this on more difficult thing or on higher difficulty settings. But like on different high on different difficulties, they change it up. So yeah, it's cool. It like it definitely adds like a little bit of. Um, it just seems like they you know, they, they, they the took way more care into the start of this game. Yeah, well, they saw what like you know Anthem is doing, Dude. and they saw oh, yeah, what all Anthem these other games. It. Yeah, but everyone so knows. it's like I'm. That's not news. I'm glad. I'm glad I uh, decided not to play that game. Agreed. Um, Fucking agreed. I mean, I'll probably I'll probably end up playing Anthem when it goes. I think on at sale. some point they'll Just probably make it better. But I mean, like shit, man. In terms of looter shooters right now, I feel like it, it sticks because not many people are playing it. I, I feel like as much, but Destiny, a uh, Destiny Division too. It's fuck it. It's it's so well built. It's it's yeah. well built. Like Washington D.C. is beautiful. The scenery is so cool. Um like fuck man the downed air force one uh plane that you that is a control point is such an awesome place to fight fight from like it's always under attack it seems um you know i i just unlocked i don't know if i just unlocked or if i never paid attention but there's like the the caravans like the the supply movement where you're either defending them or you're attacking them that's a really cool little Mm -hmm. thing to to stumble upon um, yeah, you get like supplies and whatnot. That yeah, you can yeah. Put on control. It's points. also cool, like you know, upgrading the control points and like that's what I'm doing right now. I'm real. I'm just like focusing on like one area, doing a bunch of shit, upgrading control point. Mm-hmm. You know, next thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I mean, I just I, I'm more excited to get to end game to go into the DZ and just be a piece of shit. That's all we used to do, man. We just go rogue <laughs> and just oh god damn it. That was a glass shatter. Something. They're it's like they're going through puberty right now or something. The cats? Yeah, they're just monsters. They're just absolute monsters. Sorry. Um Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to go into the the dark zone and just fucking smoke everybody. It's funny too now they have those turrets, so you can't even just be a rogue and just like be a bastard. You gotta be careful because you'll get smoked by the automated turrets. Yeah, I have not gone to the DZ yet. Like, I still have to do all of my missions and everything like that in the DZ. Uh, but I'm, I'm I'm curious to try it out. There's a couple of weekly missions to do, which I think is cool, where, like, you can get some extra credits and, you know, some Ubisoft club points for doing certain things and um, just making sure I just cross those off my list every week. So it's, it's some of it's like, you know, this one is kill 50 enemies in any of the dark zones yeah uh you know kill 60 enemies while with a sharpshooter i'm definitely not the best I, I should be doing more of those dailies and stuff i do not i do not pay attention to it enough i should uh well they all, all they do is just give you club points and a little bit of gold it doesn't oh. really matter oh then never so. mind it's not like experience and shit yeah uh, i mean no it's not really experience no. but you like you should do your projects like you should do your side missions yeah. like i would I well, i'm saved waiting all on my the side, side missions. missions i was told that side missions scale so get to 30 and then do side missions because they'll give you loot scaled to 30. Yes, but um, they will scale to 30 as well as well. Like I, I saved a bunch just because like they give you a third of a level every time that you do them. Yeah. So I saved them. For, I saved a bunch for like 25. Sure. But then I was like running. I was as I was doing all this the mission solo. I was getting so much experience. Like I was every time I do a stronghold, I I get a, a level. So I went up really quickly. Yeah. For or sure. a main mission, I got a level. So. Um, but yeah, they do scale. Uh, I'm going to wait until I hit World Tier 4 to finish off all the side missions. Oh, so. fair. Yeah, fair. That's a good idea. But we'll see once World Tier 5 happens, though. We can, uh, I might just wait for that as well. So. Yeah. I didn't get the season pass, which I, I, I don't know if I, I... You don't really need to because all the content's free. Oh, so then fuck it. So What's the, only the thing? That, the only thing, a season pass gets you at a week early, and you get all the gear a week early. Um, uh Yeah. But that's about it. So it's not really. I mean, I I bought the gold edition because I um, I just wanted to support them and I really like the game. Yeah, and that's the reason so. why I did it. So, fuck yeah, yeah. I, I'm 
hopefully this week is the week where I get 30 and then I can start doing doing real stuff. It should be. I just, you know, time is a cruel mistress. Yeah, I, I trust me. I understand. I'm surprised <laughs> I was able to get uh, World Tier 2 in the time that I had. So, yeah. you know, just a little bit. Uh, I just I was just chipping away at it every night. It's a little bit here, yeah, a little bit there. See, well, also, but, like I feel like I'm, I'm doing too much open world stuff and less mission stuff, which really gives you the XP, I feel like. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's fine. But play, but you do you, man. Like enjoy the game. I'm like that's do, what I'm the do, games are about. I'm doing it. I'm doing me, baby. But know that you can do all the missions solo. You don't yeah, have to match make for, for sure. it, which is nice. It just, it so, would definitely but if you faster, want to, I feel like fine. if you're doing it with with people, it can be. Yeah, I mean, depends on your play style. Like yeah. I play very defensively, so yeah, I use my skills and you know headshots and all that stuff right I'm, I'm starting to get really good at quick scoping for headshots oh yeah so well, it's nice because you get to aim the circle there and then come up yeah 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 so but yeah it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a game that i'll play for a long ass time um especially with like borderlands 3 coming out and a bunch of other games coming out i think i'm just gonna see where this goes and i'll probably put another well, hopefully when, 2000 uh, hours in when this borderlands game. 3 comes out i'll be able to surpass you <laughs> i'll get past you <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But uh, I'll you know they they're doing an eight eight person raid at some point, so I'm curious to see how that works. That's dope. And and then uh, yeah, I'll be streaming that. I just ha- I haven't been able to stream any of my division playthrough just because of no time. Yeah. So because you know I have like half hour forty minutes here and there, I can do one mission exactly. and that's it. So. Yeah, it's not really worth the stream but, start. No, not at all. But it's very. Um, it's cool. If you have any sort of inkling as to playing the division, or if you like the division one, I definitely recommend playing it. I think it's going to be here to stay for a long time. The developers are very active on Reddit active. and their forums. Yeah. They're very open to suggestions. They're they're doing a whole bunch of shit for it, um, and it's just a lot of fun. The the world is incredible. It's a one to one scale. So if you've yeah. spent any time in DC, like I grew up around DC, so I I know DC inside and out, and it's uh like. It's it's going exactly where I know where to walk around it. Yeah. So it's crazy. Well, you give you get a check out everyone. Uh, hit us up on the on the twitters. Uh, Overachievers P. Let us know what you think. If you're interested in it, you got any questions? Also hit us up. Any of us, you know, either of us will answer in regards to it. Um, yeah, just just let us know what you think and let us know if you like it or hate it. Hopefully, hopefully you don't hate it and you enjoy it. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't done any PvP yet or any Dark Zone stuff, but I'll we'll, we'll maybe chime back in it's another smart. OG chat once we hit once we hit uh, like Super End Game, yeah. and we'll talk more about it later. Yeah. So, DL. Thanks for coming again. Our anyway. second OG chat, limited edition, the only number two that will ever exist. See, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do this from now on. Uh, again, this is Overachievers Gaming Podcast, OG Chat Number Two. It's your boys signing off. <laughs> later, everybody. Bang!